So I'm about to change out this old speed bag. You can see it's got some tears and wear and love on the thing. And still got a little bit of life in it. So I'm gonna do what I always do when the speed bags start getting worn and torn, which is beaten to death and then change it. So let's break a speed bag. It might take a couple minutes, might take an hour, might take two, but we're gonna hit it until it's done. Tough one. So he's ripping up the more. We're almost there. Ripped all the way up there. Right, let's focus on power, see if we can pop that. I don't know if we can. really unstable.
hanging on my thread. It's pretty bad. It's not completely destroyed yet, but the balance is gone. Let's change that thing. Show you how to change a speed bag if you don't know. This is a U-bolt swivel. There are lots of different types of swivels. The U-bolt is great for beginners because it's longer, so it tends to be slower. A lot of cheap speed bags come with a chain link swivel, which I think is one of the worst for beginners, even though it's one of the most common ones that's sold to them. So if you're starting out, I'd recommend get a U-bolt like this, just because it's generally easier so we unscrew that and now we're gonna change out the bag the next step is pretty simple get yourself a pump that works get yourself a brand new empty speed bag the air doohickey to fill it up is in the bottom make it wet because it's gross well that's not the reason why <laughs> why not and then just pump it up oh, there we go you don't want to overfill it, you don't want to underfill it. Just make sure it's tight. If you want to be super technical, especially if you got an expensive speed bag, a really nice brand name, one made out of genuine leather or something that you had to have imported, this is one of those. This is a fairly cheap one. But if you have a really nice one, get yourself a pressure gauge and follow the instructions. Don't overinflate or underinflate or whatever. But if you filled enough of these, you can just eyeball it. Get a feel for it. How much is too much? How much is enough? I'm a big fan of starting out with the, the cheap stuff because you're going to make a lot of mistakes when you start out. But you guys new to combat sports want to start out with the finest equipment. And I understand why, because it's nice. You make some nice equipment out there, but uh, you're probably going to ruin your first equipment. Probably gonna break your first few speed bags or something like that. You're gonna mess it all up. So, start with some cheap ones that you can afford to lose. Then, when you understand the system, when you understand how it works, there we go, that's nice and firm. Firm, but not overinflated. Now, take the U bolt, slide it through here. See that? And we take the screw. This next part is going to be tricky because I'm trying to do it with one hand because I'm here after hours and this is a two-handed job. So I might just have to, yeah. So we're going to line that up there and just put the screw in. There's a right side and a wrong side of this U-bolt, so make sure you screw it in the right side. Not to be confused with the left side. One final thing to do. Now we could start hitting it, but it's still a little bit wobbly because of this webbing right here where it's attached to the U-bolt. So I'm gonna take a piece of sports tape, just basic athletic tape. Like if you take a jujitsu class and get stripes on your belt, that exact same thing. Same stuff I got my hands taped up with here. Stretch that out a little bit. 
Okay? And I'm going to tape the base of the webbing tight together so that the speed bag doesn't jump around as much. So it's gonna end up being more stable. Let's make that tight. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy. Just stability. Stability is important on these things. Man, the first speed bag I learned on was terrible. It had like a broken chain link swivel that would go all over the place. And I thought that was normal. I thought that's what it was supposed to do. And I was just really bad at the speed bag and it was really hard. And no, it, it takes some time. It's got a bit of a learning curve to it, but it's, it shouldn't be super duper difficult to figure it out. If you spend 10 minutes a day, Every day after three months, you'll look like a professional. You'll look better than Rocky in the Rocky movies. So let's give it for, let's take it for a spin. Oh, this is lighter than the last one. Okay, the lighter it is, hmm, the faster it can go. take a little bit of getting used to. I like them a bit heavier. Some people like them lighter and smaller. The lighter it is, the smaller it is, the shorter it is, the faster it's going to move. The bigger it is, the longer it is, the heavier it is, the slower it's going to move. But it's, it's just what you're used to. If you want to wear power, get a slightly heavier one. Then you're going to have to hit it harder to make it move faster. This, if you read Jack Dempsey's book, you know he considered this his primary tool for developing power, which might surprise people, because with a light one, it doesn't take a lot to get it moving fast. But, you totally can. something better, but the true key to happiness in this life is not wanting what you don't have, it's appreciating what you do have. I'm being grateful for it. I got a lot of messages from people saying, oh man, I'm so jealous, you have a nice gym to work out, you, at. you got these, you got punching bags, you got mats, you got a boxing ring, you got all this stuff. And I do, and it's awesome. I'm very grateful for it. But if you're writing me a comment like that, guess what you have? You got the internet, you have a wealth of information at your fingertips. Man, we live in a marvelous age. And if you got a functioning body, guess what you can do? You can get out there and train one way or another with or without equipment. And it doesn't have to be complicated. This is a really simple piece of equipment. It's a U-bolt on a swivel attached to a piece of wood with a little leather covered balloon on it. hundred years ago or so, some people figured out, you know what? We need targets that move. Let's make them. And they did. They got out there and trained. And it was awesome. That's how you change a speed bag. Thanks for watching. Now get out there and train. Fight forever. This didn't last forever. It's good while it lasted though. <laughs>